In this video, we will solve a problem on monopoly and perfect competition. The question is consider an industry with the following structure. There are 50 firms that behave in perfect competitive manner and have identical cost functions given by CY is equal to Y square upon 2. Okay, there is one monopolist that has zero marginal cost. The demand curve for the product is given by that is DP is equal to 1000 minus 50P. We have to find out the monopolist's profit maximizing output and price and also how much does the competitive sector supply at this price, the price that is being shared by the monopolist. Okay, so first thing is first, let's take the first part. So monopolist's profit maximizing output will occur when he equates his marginal revenue with marginal cost. Okay, we are being given here marginal cost of the monopolist is zero so we need to first find out the marginal revenue and marginal revenue can be calculated from the demand function okay dp is equal to this let us write it in this fashion that is q is equal to thousand minus five uh, you know 50p this is our demand function solving for p that means 50 p is equal to thousand minus q that will give us p will be equal to 1000 upon 50 it will come out to be uh, 20 okay 1 upon 50 it will come out to be uh, 0 0.02 q okay now total revenue you know it is simply price into quantity so price function is 20 minus 0 0.02 q to this we multiply output so our total revenue will become 20 q minus 0 0.02 q square and marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue function with respect to q okay taking derivative of this function with respect to q we will get 20 minus uh, derivative of q square is 2q so 2 into 2 is 4 so we will get 0 0.04 q this is our marginal revenue so this is our profit maximizing condition this is our marginal revenue we will equate 20 minus 0.04 q with marginal cost which is zero for the monopolist so which gives us 0.04 q will be equal to 20 solving for q we will get 20 upon 0.04 which will come out to be 500 that means monopolist will you know uh, produce 500 units of output to maximize his profit okay so second part is what will be the profit maximizing price for the monopolist just plug the value of optimal output in the inverse demand function this is our inverse demand function this will give us the price okay so p will be equal to 20 minus 0 0.02 in place of q we have 500 solving p will be equal to 20 minus 0.02 can be written as 2 upon 100 into 500 so it will come out to be p will be 20 minus 2 5 are 10 which will come out to be 10 profit maximizing price for the monopolist will be 10 okay now the third part is how much does the competitive firm sector supply at this price at the price set by the monopolist is 10 how much output will competitive sector supply now for competitive sector okay competitive firm maximizes his profit by equating their price with marginal cost we know this thing now marginal cost uh, and our total cost function is being given us as cy okay cy cy is equal to y square upon 2 okay number of firms is 50 this is the and each firm has identical cost function so this represents the cost function of each firm so if this is total cost then marginal cost is simply the derivative of cost function with respect to output okay so taking derivative of this function it will become 2y upon 2 2 2 gets cancelled that means we will get y marginal cost will be equal to y okay equating price with marginal cost 
that means p will be equal to y now since there are 50 firms and identical fir firms obviously in the industry the industry supply okay curve will be then the industry's output will be equal to let me denote it by q superscript i that means industry's output will be equal to okay uh, industry's output will be equal to number of firms times output supplied by each industry okay and we know this y is equal to p and p is being given us as 10 okay the price is being given us as 10 so let me write it here in place of p we have y so we can write it 50 into 10 which will come out to be 500 that means total output supplied by competitive sector will be equal to 500 units okay simple thing is here we got p is equal to y and our price is the monopolist price that is being you know set here each firm is producing y units of output and y is equal to p that means total output produced by the industry will be equal to 50 p sorry 50 y 50 denotes the number of firms this is the number of firms and this y i denote the output output of each firm okay each firm so in total this will be equal to number of firms to, uh, times output uh, you know supplied by each firm which will come out to be 500 units i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you